Hey y'all, it's me, Jenny, Grill Talk New York with Jenny. They got up in vanity, what a calamity. Them got the audacity, them got the audacity. Okay, let me do a disclaimer. This channel is not for everybody. I'm just looking to connect with like-minded, intelligent people that's learning to low. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. That's wanting to grow and be a better person and just get wiser. And then we exchange ideas off each other. So that's the type of people I'm looking for. Like-minded people. They hate the poison, the ghetto-ness, the toxicity. This is not this is not the ghetto channel with the carrying on and not, that's not that type of channel. Go find what you're looking for if that's the type of person you are. Anyway, guys, so She's too jealous to congratulate you, okay? She's too jealous to congratulate you. Some people, when things are not going well for them or in their, um, if they're in competition with you and something amazing, spectacular, one of your goals get fulfilled and that's a friend and she cannot congratulate you, that's a jealous, envious person. You understand? You didn't create her problems for her. You didn't create her drama for her. You didn't make her life bad. You understand? And if somebody could call you up when they need something, and when something good happens for you, to you, they can't even, they ignore it. They don't acknowledge it. They don't congratulate you. They completely overlook something spectacular that means something to you in your life. <clears throat> that's a jealous hater. And that's not worthy of, that's not a person worthy of being in your life as a friend because guess what whenever no matter how bad let me tell you I never had an easy life I never came on this show and say oh my life is easy it was never easy no matter how low and bad I ever had it I always been happy for other people I'm always happy for other people because guess what I'm always the under I was always the underdog never really having much always getting beat up literally always getting into a fight always getting jumped Always, something always was happening to me. Always struggling to fight for something. I don't know what happened to my top, but my dress, but it got a little stain. Probably at work, all that stuff I'm doing with hair and all the grease and whatever, whatever, product, whatever. But my point is, if somebody cannot congratulate you, and that's that same person who called, leaned on you for advice, called you up and asked for help, and when something good they, they're a user and they, 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 you know, you don't want a friend like that. If they cannot be happy for you, that's not a true friend. A true friend can be happy for you because your blessing is their blessing. You understand what I'm saying? Look, watch out for this sign. I'm telling you, watch very carefully for a friend who doesn't congratulate you or they become, they be start becoming distance when good things are happening in your life. Or they disappear. I'm telling you, a lot of times that people disappear out your life because of jealousy. They can't handle the jealousy or they start. Let me tell you, and a jealous person, there's a, always an action behind jealousy. All right? It's, jealousy is an emotion that they feel. Envy, resentment towards whatever good that's happened to you. And later on, the action coming after that is going to be some type of spite. Some type of spite. Some type of sabotage, some kind of <clears throat> dismissal. Whether they dismiss you like, oh, she ain't nobody. Who is she thinks she is? But she'll they'll do say who she thinks she is with that tongue and turn around and call you for help, advice, being built up, loan, money, whatever it is that you have to offer, they'll take. Toxic people, toxic because envy is a toxic emotion, and some people suffer with that, especially women. Espe women are very envious, very. That's a woman's nature, human beings anyway. Human nature is envy. But women, let me tell you something. You don't allow people like that around you. If somebody cannot be happy for you when you're succeeding, honey, when you're doing well, honey, you, that's not a friend. Honey, a friend feel your joy. They feel your pain. Okay? Because let me tell you something. What I know, if one of my friends gets a new car, guess what? I'm riding in that sucker. Period, sis. One of my friends gets a new vehicle. I'm riding in that shit. Okay, yes, yes, bitch. I'm sorry to cuss. Yes, we getting in it. Yes, bitch. We riding. Bam, bam. Are we whipping on these? We splashing puddles on on exes. If my friend got a new whip, that's how I. That's how I will feel great. My friend got a new apartment, girl. I'm coming over. You cooking for me, child? 
Girl, I'm coming over. You cooking for me. We eat and we living it up. My friend. And I'm even helping her move. That's the type of friend I am. Because if I got my car and my friend is moving. Girl, you got your place. Ah! Ah! If your friends can't be lit like that for you, that's not a friend. And when you see jealous energy, when they, they all of a sudden they come quiet. They stop liking your stuff. They, all of a sudden they start gossiping you. Or rumors. Listen, envy have a certain action. I've experienced envy a lot in my life for me to understand what it is. They become silent. Or that, mm. I told somebody, oh my God, I just got uh, this new, oh my God. I told y'all when I told somebody that I got a promotion. I told somebody, oh, I got a promotion. And honey, child, um, that, that person was like, mm. That right there is not the response I wanted or expected. And at the end of the day, I have to uh, create distance with you. I really do. I have to create distance because me personally, my friends got to be happy for me. I don't need no bad energy, honey. Sorry. I don't need no bad vibes. Trust me on this one. Let me tell you something. Whenever you say good news and the person is like, mm, mm, first of all, they're in competition with you and you're not in competition with your friends. A friend does not compete. Friends be building each other, uplifting. Some of these women are so toxic, they have no clue what it is to be a friend, child. They have no clue. And they're always in competition. A competitive person is not somebody you be friends with. They're always measuring up your life against theirs. Baby girl, you can measure up your life against mine plenty of times, but would you have survived? First of all, would you have made it to my age? Let's be real. Would you have made it to, would you have survived what I have survived? Would you have survived what I have survived? Would you able to walk through my shoes and be where I am? Because guess what? You're walking and let you're going through less than what I've been through, and you can't even handle that. That's just what it is. When you see somebody cannot, she's too jealous to congratulate you. Uh, there's gonna be a either they're gonna sabotage you, throw you underneath the bus, try to stop you, block you. Leave your life because they will leave your life over sheer jealousy. They can't stand to see you win. Because let me tell you something. A lot of people feel good when you're doing bad. It kind of makes them feel better about themselves. Again, a lot of people feel good. Let me tell you, human nature. Look around of hu at human nature. And you're going to tell me if I'm lying. This is why I came on this channel to show y'all some real, real. Okay? Look around. Sorry, I'm taking off my clothes. I took off my stockings. Um, God. My feet are jacked up, y'all. My feet is itching me. I don't know what's up with my feet. Sorry, guys. My feet itch. I did lotion. I did lotion, but the lotion absorbed all the... My feet absorbed all the lotion. My feet is crusty. I had all these fishnet stockings on my dress. I was kind of looking cute today, but I couldn't show you because I can only show this part of my body right now. So, child, I'm scratching my feet. Sorry. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I am telling you. She's too jealous to congratulate you. That's not a friend. That's a competitor. You don't be friends with no competitor. They're not in competition comp because you know when you what's yours is mine. What's mine is yours if we're friends. Not like that. In that sense, like, oh, it's really mine. But if you feel good for your friend because guess what? It's theirs and you feel great. You know, you want to go, you know, girl, you got, even if your girl got a new bad hairstyle and she killing it. Wow, girl, let me see that. Send me a picture. Ah, it's late. We go to the club. We get in drinks. We go to the club, we get in drinks. We turn up. Your hair look fly, girl. We got to have some fun. You want your friends to feel good. You want to, that's how I am. I'm that type of friend. Like, I'm, listen, any friend that lost me lost a good thing because I'm lit, literally lit, lit as a friend. Be having fun. Be great. Have happy for you. We be turned up. I have a good energy, a good spirit. I enjoy life. You don't want these mopey, mopey, mopey people around you when you, when you, you see what you want her to be hype like you. You got a part in a movie. You got a part in a movie and she's like, oh. You got a part in a play and she's like, oh. When she know you're an actress and you've been working hard at your craft. And she's like, oh, girl, we literally celebrate. Let's get for drinks. Let's go for drinks, sis. Ow, ow, ooh, uh, hey, hey. That's how you do your friends. You lit, you make them lit. You hype them up, give them confidence. You don't talk down on your friends. Oh, mm, mm, mm. Whenever somebody do that, trust me, I distance my, I go off energy. I go off energy vibes. You don't have to... Let me tell you something. Somebody don't have to open up their mouth to say that they're here. Their actions, their vibe. 
You know what I'm saying? People sometimes people want to be like you, but they can't even handle half of what you've ever what you've been through. They just don't have the strength. They just don't got what it takes. Anyway, a real talk New York with Janique. Okay, guys, let me tell you some real friends. Uh -huh, they don't have that envy in their heart. They want you to win. You know, and they're happy when you win. Pay attention to that. You want friends who are happy. Some of them, they're mad because you got into a relationship with a man that's doing for you. So they're mad. They're angry, honey. So they disappear out your life. It's really jealousy. It's really jealousy. That's what it is. A lot of females, they don't, they're to toxic females in general. They have a lot of jealousy issues, period. They don't know how to, because they haven't worked on themselves internally to understand where those negative emotions are coming from. That's what it is. And you don't want jealous females around you because you just create distance from them. Be cool, nod your head, keep it moving with those types. Because guess what? Jealousy is backed by an action. Always, always backed by action. They're going to do something bad in your life to sabotage you. Cut the snake at the head. Cut the snake at the head. Remember that. Cut, cut it off before it get a chance to wiggle it away and, and slither it away. Cut the snake. That's what I've been doing. And my life been great. I've been cutting snakes at the head, following my energy, following my vibe, and watching how people react to my blessings. If you can't be happy for me, there's always some shade thrown onto my blessing. Nah. Eh. Read that in a friend. That's a bad mind person. A bad mind envious person. Anyway, real talk, New York with Janik. Big up yourself. Large up yourself. Yeah, subscribe. Love you guys.